we've finally arrived. We are in New York City. Today got next. Basically, we were supposed to do three legs, one up to JFK and then two more. It was supposed to be a Nassau turn and up here around 9.30ish tonight. But instead, they have recruited that and we are now laying over here in New York for longer than expected. And we're at a hotel that is super close to the airport, which makes for a good layover when you only have maybe 10 or 11 hours but we're here now for over 20 hours so we're stuck here by the airport and there's nothing to do it's literally nothing to do you could take a train or go into the city but that's just more work that i don't plan on doing today at all no i'm gonna unpack my suitcase there get comfortable probably watch some tv see what else i can get into maybe go downstairs have a mimosa because why not and then just get prepared for work tomorrow we start early not too early around 9 a.m we have to be downstairs for the shuttle and then started like over to salt lake city so let's see what else we can get into for the day i look forward to whatever else the day brings or something on. I'll see you at the airport. were very nice everything went well full flight I feel like all flights these days are super full summertime travel as it as normal um, we landed here probably about an hour ago the walk 
through the Salt Lake City Airport. I don't know <laughs> if many of you have been to that airport. I'm based in Orlando and I thought our walk was bad. The Salt Lake City walk, that's, that's a lot. But there's so many gates, there's so many restaurants and everything around, so it made it feel not as long because there's so much to look at, so much to see. There's so many people everywhere. But either way, we're here now at the hotel. I am about to get changed out of the uniform and probably go work out. The crew wants to go get some food tonight. I think we're gonna have Venezuelan. That sounds good. Um, but I'm not sure. So wherever we do go, I'm gonna take you guys along. First time in Salt Lake City. I'm really excited to be here. After seven years, I've never been to Salt Lake City, not even on my own time. So let's see what we can get into. All right, so we are now ready. We're gonna actually head out and go to uh, the Venezuelan restaurant at Empas, as I, that's what I believe it's called. But that's where we're about to go. We're on Benny, got my sunscreen on. I took my makeup off because it's too hot. And then we're just wearing a little white crop top and some leggings. I forgot to pack shorts. That won't happen again. I forget it's summertime everywhere now and I need to treat it as such. This is just what I keep inside of my little fanny pack. Alcohol, 91%. I don't even mess with the um, hand sanitizers. Oh, my wallet. <clears throat> course my AirPods. I won't be needing them but they're in there just in case. That's what stays in my fanny pack. <laughs> Just saying, came in with a F fan. Two girls with him told me he ain't got a preference. Got them both down and I asked a few questions. Met last week and they already best friends. Already best friends. Yeah. Met last week and they already best friends. Friend. Yeah. Met last week and they already best friends. She's a joy, just stay fresh, man. Told her I'ma pull up at your place at 10. Girl, you look good, I would risk everything. Make me forget what safe sex is. Finish right now. I don't take breaths in. I recommend you don't listen to your friends. Shit ain't been the same since they stepped in. 25 deep in the same section. I'm on fuck you off here. Tell me this ain't something that you do often. I can't say the same, so use caution. Use caution. Just saying, came in with a F and two girls with him. Told me he ain't got a preference. I'm on my own. I'm asking questions. At last week, and they already best friends. So I've got my combo here, my apple cider vinegar and some water. And I have some sleepy time tea. This should definitely set the mood and let me sleep peacefully. Cheers. So we have made it home. It was a great trip, a great three days. I will say the crew was great. It was good to be able to go out and actually hang out, get some food when we did go to Salt Lake City. Um, although the first day didn't go as planned, it worked out in our favor, so I'm happy about that. I love when trips end up like that. And being a flight attendant, I feel like you just have to roll with the punches. Sometimes you can be, 
scheduled to go to the Bahamas and then you end up in New York for your layover instead. But it is kind of what comes with the territory of being flexible, being able to know that you might not have the day that you were planning to have as far as like getting in at one o'clock you might not get in until three um missing birthdays missing things in life i think just being able to roll with the punches is definitely something that comes with being a flight attendant so i definitely recognize that sometimes it works in our favor sometimes it doesn't um and i'm sure throughout this journey we'll see that this trip was great i'm gonna go work out and get some errands done it was great taking you along with me i will take you guys on the next one and until then see you soon